Hello and welcome back to Octopath Traveler 2 with me, Boldish McGammer. Today we're going to begin another tale. Let's hear the tale of Proticio the Merchant, Chapter 2. Proticio set out on a journey to help bring prosperity and happiness to all those suffering from the devil named Poverty. The first town he visits is Clockbank, the greatest metropolis on the eastern continent. His eyes sparkle when he arrives, for he smells opportunity. Continue the tale. Is this what all towns on the Eastern Continent are like? No, some of them are cold. It's a world apart from what I knew back in Ors Rush. Mmm, the scent of commerce. I could smell it on the wind. Now then, might as well stop gabbing and get to exploring this town. All right, so let's take a look around. We've done so in the past, but... Partitoto. Partucci. Uh, got a lasso around your toe? I'm trying to say your name, but it's hard to pronounce. Oh, uh, well, well that's what all the sputterings are. Uh, Partitoto. Partitoto. <laughs> My name's causing you a right spot of grief, ain't it? Uh, send a bill for your troubles to my old man. Uh, feel free to call me whatever you like, too. I don't mind. Hmm, in that case, I'll call you Party Hardy. Uh, whoa now! Uh, write that in, partner. <laughs> oh, that's delightful! That's actually delightful! I love that. All right, let's see what we got here. A little bit more discovery. This is unacceptable. You will pay, and you will pay in full. Huh? I can't afford to spare the leaves. I just paid taxes, and I'm squeezed tight as it is. <laughs> Damned kids. Don't understand the way the world works. The Rock Company is kind enough to provide for you. That puts you in our debt. The Rock Company? You live in this town, you must pay taxes. It's part of our social contract. Adult or minor, there are no exceptions. Mm. You won't see a leaf from me! My younger siblings will starve without this money! <sighs> I don't want to have to break your knees, kid, but... Uh... Whoa there, fella. I think I've heard enough. Extorting money from a youngster? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you got lucky, kid. But I'll be back. Everyone pays their dues eventually. Remember that. It's one of the assurances of life. Death and taxes. You alright, son? You earn all those leaves yourself? <laughs> My hat's off to you. Run along now. Thanks, yellow guy! Well, yellow guy's a step up from Party Hardy. Who was that in the shadows? But you! You there! Yes, you! I saw the whole thing! Mysterious man in yellow coat chases off villainous rock company collector! Wow, you're loud. Oh, what a scoop! I can see the headline now! <laughs> Excuse me, uh, who are you? Oh, my apologies. Here's my card. Ooh, a card. Fancy. Ori Scrivener for the Delsta Times. Uh, is this supposed to be you? You're a funny one. Why not just tell me who you are? 
I'm right here. Uh, that's my business card, is why. Uh, well, what's a business card? Huh? That's what this is called. Never seen one of these before. No one back in Ors Rush had use for something like this. My oh my! I guess these aren't in vogue out in the West. Ah, don't tell me you don't have newspapers either. Here you go. Today's Gazette. Give it a read. Oh boy, so this is a newspaper. You here in the East have some wild ideas. Hey, thanks. I'll give it a read for sure. By the by, what's this rock company I just heard about? Why, it's the enterprise owned by the world-famous business tycoon Rock Brilliant. Aha! I thought it'd be tied to Mr. Rock somehow. Mr. Rock? Uh... <clears throat> The Rock Company was established eight years ago and grew at an astonishing pace. It's one of the largest business concerns in the world now. Everyone's heard of it. It's all thanks to the miracle of the steam engine. Yeah, he knew it would be big. Steam engine. So Mr. Rock was right. The steam engine wasn't just a tall tale after all. <laughs> Looks like he's making it a reality. <laughs> Revisions, textiles, you name it. This whole town runs on steam power. Even the distribution of our humble paper is all thanks to the power of steam. It's made the efficiency of manufacturing and transportation go up, up, up. Steam's caused an industrial revolution. Hooey! Thanks to his timely investments, Rock Brilliant is now one of the wealthiest people in the world. Hmm. Huh? What's with the gloom and doom face? If he's making so much, this whole town should be wealthy and prosperous. So why do I see so many poor folk on the street corners? In this town, every industry and person who benefits from the steam engine is taxed. Which is everybody. Even the poor have to pay a heavy tax burden. No one around here is willing to oppose the rock company. Hmm. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna go see Mr. Rock. There's something I've been meaning to ask him. Excuse me. I didn't catch your name. Oh, pardon. Didn't mean to be rude. I'm a traveling merchant name of Particio. Here, this is my business card of sorts. One leaf. A silver coin? Oh, a coin. <laughs> Thanks for the info. Vagrant peddler, Particio, censor, steam tycoon, rock! Good, good. I was right. My journalistic intuition never fails me. I can smell a big scoop on the horizon. Big scoop of what? Oh boy, more banter. What made you want to be a, tr a merchant, Particio? Eh, simple. I was always surrounded by business folk when I was a little chickadee. I also been inspired by my pops and Mr. Rock. It was only natural that I wanted to grow up to be just like them. What a fine origin story. All this takes me back. I was so eager for their approval, I galloped from job to job like a wild stallion. I see, I see. You would say, then, that you were spurred on into your profession? Huh? Wait a sec. Ah, spurs! Because I'm like a horse. Is that what that was a joke? Huh, it was indeed. Hooey! 
see, partner. A uh, fella needs to uh, use his noggin to parse your gags. All right. Uh, let's see. Gotta double check to make sure that I have the people that I need. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. This is Mr. Rock's factory, huh? Guess he's making his steam engines here. Still. It's big. Too big to wrap my head around. Wait. I need to run one more test, just to be sure. Theoretically, this should improve output efficiency by 400%. Now is a boiler that can withstand the high pressures and. Up. Oh. oh, there. <laughs> you okay? Uh, s -s sorry, I was just um thinking and. <laughs> Try and be more careful. Oh, uh, by the by, you know where I can find Mr. Rock? Rock? You mean the boss? I'm sure he'll be in the company office. Now, if you'll excuse me. Of course, he'd be in the office and not the factory. Of course. Increase boilerplate thickness by three, no, four times, and. <laughs> That fella's gonna walk right into a wall. Probably has a few times. Well, company office. Got it. I'll just have to go pay a visit. If I may intrude. Tax collection is going mostly according to schedule. Raising the labor tax has increased our profits greatly. However, there is still room to squeeze more from this town. Good. This town and all of the Bright Ones have transformed thanks to the steam engine. But this is only the beginning. The steam engine will soon change the world. If we can mass produce these devices, global industry will advance by leaps and bounds. You truly are a visionary, sir. <laughs> Wealth is a very honest thing, you know. Its true value cannot be realized in the hands of the undeserving. But once possessed by those worthy, it can change the world. Hmm. Money really does do as good as you do with it. This is a rock company office. I have no further comment at this time. Do you now? Give me a comment. A guard stationed at the entrance of the company's head office. He got the position through a parental connections, and feels not a hint of motivation or obligation. Indeed, he spends his days dreaming of finding an easier job. Thank you. An easier job than just standing there? I, I guess. Howdy there. Name's Particio. Traveling merchant at your service. Uh, mind showing me to Mr. Rock's office? M mr Rock? Uh, sorry I didn't make an appointment, but I'm sure he'll see me if you give him my name. Um, I I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to pass. <sighs> you again? I'm an old friend of your boss, looking to have a word with him. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but he is not on the premises. I suggest you withdraw for the day. 
Hmm, not here, huh? Shucks. Oh well. Sorry for the bother. Here, for your trouble. What is this? A silver coin? He's just handed it out, like candy. Now, I never said a word about going home. So, I might as well take a gander around the factory till Mr. Rock gets back. Ah, banter. Well done, Particio. Oh, I ain't done nothing. Have I? A normal person would have left quickly and quietly when told off in that manner. Yet you persisted and even went one step further by deciding to survey the factory. I feel there is much I could learn from your shameless audacity. Really, I am awestruck. Eh, uh, I'll take that as a compliment or... Yes, of course. It seems the secret of your success is a combination of boundless energy and enthusiastic insolence. Through sheer reckless optimism, you reach unheard of new heights. Perhaps the bold arrogance to assume that you are always in the right is a necessary trait for those who wish to be successful in life. I'm getting a feeling those rosy compliments of yours have some prickly thorns. <laughs> Just your imagination. <laughs> Cassie's not always nice. She's spicy. Very spicy lady. Anyway, I gotta change up my whole party because I got a conversation for everybody by now. So let's see here. Who's next on the list? Let's see, I think I need Hikari. Pretty sure I need Agnia. And something tells me I'll need Throne. Does Oswald not talk in this chapter? No. No, no, Oswald does. Okay, so not Hikari. No, I do need Hikari, but I'm not Agnia right now. Okay, sorry. The order is here. I'm reading a guide that has no spoilers. Let's see here. In we go. So this is a steam engine. <laughs> Steamy, huh? <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Mr. Rock, you really are changing the world, just like you said. Oh, this one looks different from the rest. Huh? Is that smoke? It's dangerous! Get away from there! It's also on fire. And... Are you alright? That device isn't finished, so... Um... Oh... Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry to make a ruckus. Huh. Aren't you that fella from before? Uh... I'm sorry. Have we met? You know what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, you said this ain't finished yet? Oh, yes. Conventional steam engines are extremely difficult to produce. Crafting just one takes ages. That's why I'm researching and developing a way to simplify them for mass production. Oh. If we can mass produce the steam engine, the world's manufacturing capability will expand tremendously. Oh, more goods means more business. That's right. Prosperity for all, and all shall benefit. That's my dream. I think I've taken a shine to you, fella. I'm with you all the way. R really Th Thank you so very much. Also, sorry you almost got exploded. But there's still a problem. We need to drastically reduce costs to realize our dream of mass production. However, I'm worried that compromising on quality will result in dangerous boiler safety issues. Like that. 
Uh, worst case scenario, kaboom, huh? Like what just happened? Precisely. Accidents like that will only cause promulgation of the engine to screech to an ignominious halt. Oh, in short, you needed cheap and safe material to make your doodad with, right? That shouldn't be a problem for me. I'll find you a supply straight away. You... you will? But how? Who are you? Sorry, we don't have a business Articio, card. Articio, traveling merchant at your service. I hope you don't mind me lending a hand to make your dreams come true. I mean, who would? Boiler material, huh? Just any metal won't do it, that's for sure. Cheap, durable. I should ask around at the arms and armor shops in town. <laughs> I'm getting more excited than a hound with a bone. All right, arms and armor shop. Well, here's a weapon shop here. Hey, excuse me. Welcome. We carry a wide range of arms and armor for our discerning martial clientele. Howdy, friend. Mind if I pick your brain? Know any metals heat resistant and durable against impact? I'm looking for something tougher than iron. A metal tougher than iron? <laughs> If I did know of such a thing, I'd be a wealthy person indeed. Uh, figured. Uh, thanks, I'll try elsewhere. Hey, hold on a second, buddy. What about this? I've got crates of the stuff I could sell to you. It's called clockite. A metal whose tensile strength increases the hotter it gets. That makes it stronger than iron, in certain circumstances. Of course, the problem is that it's brittle at room temperature. Useless for armor or weapons. Then how do you have so much of it? It is lighter than iron, however, so it's mainly used in the manufacture of clock components, hence the name. Gets harder the hotter it gets, huh? <laughs> Sounds like a good match for a boiler. Those things are always hotter than whaling peppers. I think it's worth a shot. This is just inside the town. How did they not come to this sooner? So we got five clockite. Pop right back in there. Oh, we can move around a little bit. Can we... We can scrutinize. What's this? Floyd, a young genius who perfected the Neo Steam Engine, or so he hates to be called. Seeing as it was his grandfather who completed the original Steam Engine and his father who polished the black theory behind, or basic theory behind it, he knows better than anyone that he is simply standing on the shoulders of giants. Ah. Uh... Hmm. The material cost of mass producing the steam engine would be... But compromising the quality means that the safety of the boiler would... Uh, let's give you the clock, right? Uh, Floyd, I came by some interesting material for you. What is it? A metal called clockite. Brittle at room temperature, but gets tougher the hotter it gets. Or so I hear, anyway. Your engine's boilers are always jumping hot, right? Don't that make this a good fit? Huh, that's a good point. Let's give it a shot. It's worth a try, right? What's the worst that could happen? It'll just blow up again. And you're back where you are now, right? <sighs> Failure. Oh. Oh, shucks. You were right about this metal. In fact, it can be more durable than I had hoped. However, it's tricky to work. It shatters easily when it's cool. 
But it's too hard to shape once you heat the stuff, huh? Yep. <sighs> that is a rub, ain't it? Sorry, Floyd. No, it's me who should be apologizing. I wish I could have made it work somehow. Well, you never worked with this stuff before. It just makes sense. You got practice. Oh, rats. I thought we had it, too. I guess ideas from a layman like me ain't good enough to make this work. Oh, wait a second. What if we had an expert? I just need to bring us someone who knows their way around clock eye tinkering. Problem is, who'd know how to work the stuff? It's in the name party. Huh, a clockmaker, of course. That's their job. All right. I've got a solid lead. Now, I've just got to rustle up a clockmaker. Unfortunately, the game will probably point me straight to one. But first! What are you up to there, Throne? Huh? Just browsing for a tire. Ooh, get, uh, get up gazing. I get you. You're always dressing real fashionable like. A fine compliment coming from a merchant with such a sharp eye for quality. So, what sort of rags do you fancy? I'm afraid that answer is a bit complex. To me, clothing is like a painting. A part of the maker's soul and artistic sensibilities is woven into each piece. And nothing fits me quite as well as a garment tailored by a kindred spirit. Wow, I never grabbed a pair of trousers that much thought before. You learn something new every day. You seem to have a fine sense of dress for yourself. What sort of clothing tickles your fancy? Oh, that's easy. A merchant's garb's got to be durable, first and foremost. So, you choose your garments based on textile thickness? That's part of it, sure. The uh, thing is, clothing's durability is determined by stitching. See here, my shirt? The seams are doubled up, right? That's called a twin needle stitching. Requires a deft hand to do, but it won't tear on it. Seems like this t uh, tell me a lot of uh, love went into this uh, making. The crafter wanted someone not just to wear it, but to care for it. You don't say. I never thought to look at clothing from that particular angle. Articia, why don't you join me on my next shopping trip? Sure, partner. I hope you pick out something stylish does. <laughs> oh, they're good friends. The things that people will bond over, right? How impressive are these steam engines exactly? Ugh, according to Mr. Rock. Uh, that possessed power never seen before. His words, not mine. Never seen before, you say? Hmm. Uh, what's got your brow wrinkled, Hikari? The strongest person in Ku is a band named Benkai. Do you think these steam engines are stronger than he? Your guess is good in mine, partner. From the way Mr. Rock was telling, though. Sounds to me like just one could win a tug-of-war contest with old Gaggle an oiled-up muscle man. So... As strong as five Benkais, perhaps? Hmm, no. Ten Benkais, easy. Astounding. They are truly formidable machines. <laughs> uh, trying to measure the strength the strength of an engine and people sure is something. I mean, I guess that's comparable to the term horsepower, right? Benkai power. Anyway, let's switch people around. Oh, look, we're right where we need to be. All right, so we get rid of you, and then I worry about who is the lowest level of the party. So we still want Oswald. Oswald, Oswald and Castie are the lowest levels. We'll take them. We'll take them. Maybe if I don't bring Hikari or Oshet to the boss of the chapter, maybe it might actually prove challenging? You need help with a clock out? Then you've got the right guy. How convenient! Tell me more! A masterful clockmaker who utilizes clockite to make extremely lightweight yet durable clocks. He always he's always on the lookout for new technologies, and as such has taken great interest in steam engine. Like wouldn't this guy have just applied for a job by now? No. Y yeah, he would have. He would have, right? So like if Articio never came to this town, the natural conclusion is that we'll develop this anyway in like, I don't know, a couple of days, a week? 
That was very helpful. Whatever. All right, let's hire him. Hmm, how interesting. Seems you've got a job for me. You're just who I've been looking for. I'm hiring you to work clock eyed for us. And off we go. But we would want to come during business hours. The day. I'm glad they're just letting me go in and out of the factory like nothing. Floyd, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, oh, Particio. And this is... Meet our clockmaker. A clockmaker? Clockites used to make clocks. Makes sense when you think about it, huh? In other words, he can work the stuff. Yep, this fella can bend that metal however you'd like. Anyway, we'll let you get to it, old timer. Temperature control is key to working clockite. Overall, it's quite a simple process. Watch and learn, and you'll master it in no time. Yes, sir. And in just a few hours. We did it, Particio. Just that easy, huh? Oh, ooh. With this new process, we'll be able to mass produce steam engines. <laughs> Looks like the world's one stop further along on the road to prosperity. My dream is one step closer to coming true, too. It's all thanks to you, Particio. Oh, weren't nothing. Now, let's crack open a bottle to celebrate. It's been a long road. My master was the one who invented the first steam engine, you know? Hmm. We hailed from a coal mining town past its prime. Our minds had all been exhausted, and times were tough. We wanted to find a way to revitalize our dying town. That's when my master came up with the idea for the steam engine. But we didn't have the capital, and our research stalled at the development phase. And that's when Mr. Rock showed up, wasn't it? We owe him so much. He invested in us, employed us. It's been eight years. Now, finally, our shared dream has tangible results. It's about how time he quits on I his I remember too. what you said to me, Floyd. If we can mass produce the steam engine, the world's manufacturing capability will expand tremendously. Prosperity for all, and all will benefit, you said. I believe steam will save my hometown, and all the other places out there that share its fate. It'd prove all your master's blood, sweat, and tears were worth it, huh? It'll happen, Floyd. Only because of your help, Particio. I mean... Ah, shoot. It's about time for the boss to come by for his inspection. Oh, you're going to see Mr. Rock? Can I tag along? Of course. I'll go on ahead. I'll let him know you want to see him. Come by whenever you're ready. Uh, hey there. Can I have the bill? <laughs> no need for change. I'm feeling generous today. Yeah, that's for, that's his motto. No change. No change to bring about change. Hmm. Of course she was there all along. Of course she was. Ooh, banter. 
Whoa there, Oswald. Easy on the coffee. Why are you drinking that stuff in a tavern anyway? Alcohol numbs the mind and slows the wits. So, you do it for a science and stuff? That's a laudable attitude. Wait, does that mean the strapping physique of yours is also all for science? Of course. Every good scholar possesses a trifecta of strengths, discipline, stamina, and willpower. Regular exercise is an indispensable aid for improving all three. Hooey! I knew there was a good reason for all those muscles. Speaking of which, you are lean but strong, with not an ounce of wasted sinew. How do you train? Me? I just work hard, and the muscles come along for the ride. The triumph of practical application over theory. You have given me valuable insight today. So he and Throne can bond over muscle or over like clothing, but he and Oswald can bond over muscles. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That steam engine we finished, it was right here. Where could it have gone? I don't see Floyd around either. You there, what are you doing here? Oh, there's the guard. Oh, hold on a sec. There's a good explanation for this. No, there's not. Intruder! Intruder alert! Ugh. Let the show begin! Alright! They should have stopped us a while ago, shouldn't they? Ah, well. Uh, let's see. Weak to knives? There! Thank you! What to do? What to uh, do? Uh, you weak to axes? Axe attack! Thinking time. Doesn't look like it. They are weak to fire. Fire. Maybe using that in this factory is maybe not the best idea, though. Uh, how much money you guys got? No need to be stingy. Oh, come on now. Now then. I said, give me your money. I can do whatever I set my mind to. Can I have this? Ooh, not quite seven hundred. My turn. Axe attack. Expulsion. Here goes. How about the other one? Much appreciated. I like having the money. Hmm. Certainly have unique animations. Fire. A weak. Study harder. I probably could defeat them in one turn if I use the catapult. How oh, darn. Something smells fishy. Time to explore this here factory some more. And I should probably spend some points. So let's go to our skills real quick. Ooh, I can learn the last thing. I got an achievement for that. Excellent. Okay, so, uh... What does this even do? Damage. Get money. Good! You know what? I like the sound of <laughs> Of course I would like the sound of that. You know what? Uh, let's give you this. Which means that you now have unlocked uh, Donor's Charity. The reach of a single ally's item to affect all for three turns. Oh, that's really good! AoE item usage! That does sound really good! I can't find your EX skill one of these days, though. Alright, moving on. Uh, you gotta get more stuff. Let's take Analyze. That way I can get the weaknesses without guessing. And let's give you... Oh, I've heard about this one in the comments. Uh, completely random the ability could be a lot of fun could be a game over we'll see we'll see wait for the back of the factory is there a box there it is excellent hey the customer along the rooftops it's my turn now 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Dagger Dance gives me SP. The other one gives me an extra turn. The winds of favor blow. Here goes. Can I just blast all these down with the? Catapult, go, go, go! Yes. All in a day's work. <laughs> If I don't want to deal with it, Particio still has a catapult, so I don't need Oshet or Hikari just to end random battles. 7,000 bucks! Yeah! Oh, this was a real short dungeon. Maybe I missed a path. Well, there's a save point right there. We don't need it, though. Birds! Well, we fought these birds before, apparently. Maybe next time. Yeah, no problem. None whatsoever. No. You promised me. You said you'd help me bring the steam engine to impoverished towns that need it. Perhaps we made that promise, verbally, non-binding. But you haven't forgotten the contract you signed with us. Have you? All intellectual property rights related to the steam engine will pass to the rock company in return for provision of research funding. Not intellectual property rights! <laughs> the rock company owns all rights to your steam engine. I'm sure our mutual boss will be delighted to hear that you've invented a better model. Nevertheless, we have no intention of letting anyone else benefit from our property. Period. But, but Forget your silly dreams, Floyd. They're not needed here. Silly? Uh, I won't stand for that. This research can bring prosperity to people all around the world. Technology exists to make life better for people. That's what gives it value. Well said, Floyd. I'm in complete agreement. You again? This is an internal company matter. Leave. No. Uh, true, I am an outsider. But I'm also Floyd's friend, so I'm gonna say my piece. Don't you dare walk all over people's dreams, especially not for personal profit. <sighs> You've made yourself very clear. I see now that you are an extremely inconvenient individual for our company. <laughs> so what are you gonna do about it? What? It's a dog! Oh, howdy there, little doggy. <laughs> this is Garnet, the boss's favorite hound. Garnet here has chased off everyone who interferes with our bottom line. Wow, sounds like a faithful and true companion. P Particio? We should run now. Nope, I ain't moving. Here's a bit of advice, Floyd. Sometimes, you gotta fight to make your dreams come true. Come on now, doggy. I don't want to fight no doggy dog. Oh, that's very different than the on. tiny little sprite. Oh, that's delightful. Ah, <laughs> that's real good. Okay, well, let's get things moving. Uh, how about we just discover all the weaknesses right now? I'm investing in you. All right. All right, and let's buff up with a nice little uh, lion dance on you. That helped. Thinking time. Okay. 
Let's discover some weaknesses. If I boost it, tell me about... Okay, I'm going to slow it down so I can actually see how much health it has to. Tell me all the weaknesses. Let me look at you. 23,000 health. Okay. Here I go. Uh, and we don't have to guess. Okay, good thing it's weak to axes. Alright, uh, we can do something with that. Let's do a nice little... Poison slash. My turn. And now we can make you weak to poison. Do not think ill of me for this. Thinking time. Okay, so if I use elemental barrage, there is a two out of three chance that every shot will break. Or work towards breaking. So I think that's a useful way to spend my turn. Indulge me for a moment. It's my turn now. I could buff up another person. Alright, the dog is going to go soon. Alternatively, I can just stab. Uh, I have to break five. I can have four attacks. Don't want to miss this. Which will then allow you to do one little break, like so. Thanks, Particio. Very nice. Okay, let's give a nice lion dance over to you. Oh, oh she's already buffed. How about Peacock Strut? Over to you. Peacock Strut. Thank you. My turn. Good damage, good damage. Okay, now you can do a big axe attack. No mercy, only pain. Poison slash. I'm just getting warm. That's up. better. All right, and you? Don't what do I have to hit you with? I could just use an arrow. I can get all your money right now. I could not worry about it. No, let's hit with the arrow. Hmm. For JP, not bad. Uh, and blast while I got the chance. Not bad. Oh. I need a plan. Uh, let's buff up my magic. Calculations. It's my turn now. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? All right, let's um. We all go before next turn, so I don't need to use a windy thing. Oh, I could just work on attacking. Oh, no, I, could, I know what I can do. I can give boost points. Uh, for you. That helped. Well, now. All right. All right. Here goes. I'll get that. Much appreciated. Yeah! 30,000! Hmm. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Indulge me for a moment. All right. Couple of things. Uh, you won't be able to get a break in. The, uh, the collect was already done. Hold on. Can I? This is what it means to be a star. No. Together now. I cannot do area rest. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. How about Cassie will be able to do the break. Cassie will be able to do the break. Cassie could use a buff. Cassie you could use them up. Thank you. Bring it on. Actually, you can do the break. You've got talent, Partitio. So I can do another poison slash. These hands. Poison slash. Now then. No enemy turn. No enemy turn. More peacock. Peacock strut. The tide is turning. Thinking time. Oh wait, no, it's weak to fire. Hold on. Let me show you what I've learned. This. Reduce them to ash. How weak. All the dog Study did was one harder. scratch. I didn't even use Hikari or Oshet, and it was still. Uh, I regret going to later areas and making the game too easy for this point. It'll get harder later, I'm sure. dog <sighs> this meddling youngster is a real thorn in my side so what are you planning to do exactly what Floyd proposed share this here steam engine with everyone technology exists to make life better for people that's what gives it value right 
You haven't changed, Patricio. There he is. That's what the rock says. Welcome to the rock company. My company. Seems like we're in good company. Wow, you got real pumped up. Mr. Rock. Huh. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm here to have a word with you. Oh. Have you finally decided to join my business venture? No. Sorry. Your time's valuable, I'm sure. So I'll get right to it. Mr. Rock. You deceived us, didn't you? <laughs> After you left, poverty almost brought our town to its knees. I heard the truth from Giff's own lips. He said you snuck in that extra line in the contract when we weren't looking. You were the landowner we made that deal with all along. Yes, you got me. I lied to you and your father. I wanted that silver mine, and I was willing to do anything to get it. <sighs> Mr. Rock, I looked up to you. But it seems like you've strayed from the path of righteousness. We're merchants, so let's settle this dispute like businessmen with the transaction. Sell me the rights to the steam engine. I'll pay whatever price you ask. <laughs> what? You can't be... Interesting proposal. I'm listening. There's not much more to say. This here technology is an incredible thing, but monopolizing it will only bring tears. Even a merchant needs to understand that some things are more precious than money. You don't say. Like what? Like fighting for a better tomorrow. Things like this should be shared with the whole world. If I owned this steam engine, I wouldn't keep it to myself. <laughs> That's for sure. Hear that, Floyd? That's the reason I believe in your dream. Particio. <laughs> you really haven't changed in the slightest. You've convinced me. Let's make a deal. Uh, sir, you can't mean to. This is what I'm talking about. So, what's your price? 80 billion leaves. Uh! 80 billion? That's outrageous. You could buy a kingdom with that much. I need to just collect more. You said it yourself. This technology can make the world a better place. This seems a fair price to me. <laughs> I see now. Clever as always, sir. I've made up my mind. It's a deal. You want 80 billion? I'll give you 80 billion. Patricio, Hagel! What? A merchant never goes back on his word, right, Mr. Rock? Of course. I'll write up the contract now. All right, and give me a copy. The Rock Company agrees to sell the rights to its steam engine for 80 billion leaves. Thank you kindly. Our contract has been made, Particio. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much business to attend to. Go on. I'll bring souvenirs next time I see you. 80 billion of them. I'm looking forward to that day.
I overheard it all, Particio. How did you get in here? I guess the front door was open and I beat up the guards. Never mind. Yeah, I hear that scrivener. Industrial tycoon Rock Brilliant picks business fight with roustabout merchant. A fight to the tune of 80 billion leaves. This will be on the front page of our next issue for sure. It's gonna be big. Oh, I need to tell my brother about this. You show up in a lot of odd places, don't you? The fun thing about the newspaper is, you know what, I can finish that thought later. But where will you find that much money? It sounds impossible. I'd talk big back there because my blood was boiling. But there's really nothing much to do except put in the work and build up my finances. What? It'd take hundreds of years to make that much capital. Or a few hours. <sighs> I'm collecting. I've got a hot tip for you, Particio. Oh, that's oh, so. A hot one, huh? I'll buy it. There's a noble on the western continent that has wealth to rival even the Great Rock himself. Goes by the name of Alrond. Lord of a town called Wellgrove. Oh, we are ahead there, too. Well, now, ain't that something? I smell a good deal. I've made up my mind. I'm going to see this, Alron. Mind shining my shoes? Oh, it's the yellow guy. Hey there, son. Working hard, huh? <laughs> Sit right here. I'll shine those shoes to a sparkling sheen. Alrighty. Does those people need clean shoes after all? <laughs> Good answer. But we scuffle and get them dirty a lot. Yeah. I'm working hard. I've got to earn enough to feed my family. You know, with fingers that deft, I bet you could do a whole lot of different jobs. Hey, you have anything you want to do when you grow up? Shining shoes is an honest profession, but it's hard to pay the bills with brush and wax alone. Hmm. I want to travel the world. I've spent my whole life in this town. That's why I want some sort of job that'd let me go places. See the sights. That's a nice dream. A big one, too. Yeah. Well, all polished up nice, yellow guy. Ah, thanks, son. Now I can hit that dusty trail with my head held high. And ruin the shoes again. Hey, never lose sight of your dream. You hear me? Yeah! One day, I'll change this world. I'll make it a place where folk can do the jobs they want. I promise you, it won't be long. Hmm. Breaking news! Vagrant peddler Particio throws gauntlet at wealthy elite. Particio announces his intent to acquire steam engine rights for 80 billion leaves. When asked for comment, Particio responded, Technology exists to make life better for people. That's what gives it value. But does his daring declaration have steam? Read our next issue to find out. Particio the Merchant Chapter 2, End. Ugh. 
Skullland Merchant now available, but... 80 billion leaves! I can't even imagine what that would look like. Speaking of leaves, uh, you saved up money to set out on your journey yourself, right? Uh, mind informing me how you did it? I doubt my ways would be in much uh, use here, but... At first, I just helped my people out in my village with chores and the like. And then when they thanked me, I was so happy that they were happy that, well... It, you couldn't make that money? Yeah, my savings never seemed to go up. That's when Gus gave me a job at the tavern. Yeah, he couldn't bear to watch me struggle. Uh, and then the rest of my village soon chipped in with his me too. The only reason I was able to save up enough was because of their kindness. I can't even imagine how grateful I am to them. Oh, that's such a nice story, Agnea. Ah, oh, shucks. Particio? This sort of thing always talks about heartstrings. Here, take my money. All of it. Live your dream, Magnea. But, but, but I've already got enough. You don't have to give me nothing, Particio. <laughs> He's just a given soul. He's just a given soul. Ah. Ah, he's such a good character. All right. Next time on Octopath Traveler 2 with me, Boulders McGabber. I think there's only one more Chapter 2 left. I think it is Casties Part 2. We might just go and knock that one out. But I gotta stop here. Later, travelers.